twofold. Uh, well, threefold, actually. Number one, um, this is a very, very late filing, uh, especially for an expert witness um, that the state now seeks to introduce. Secondly, um, we are extremely troubled by the fact that, and we don't think this respectfully, Judge White, is subject to dispute. CPT information is confidential. It is not subject to dissemination. We gave the court an earlier memoranda on that, but to make it easy for the court, I gave the court a synopsis of that in this response. There is no exception under which Ms. Griffin, on behalf of the child protection team, is allowed to disseminate this material um, to talk about it or to rely upon any of the, inf the written information and documents. <clears throat> In addition to that, Your Honor, there is nothing about the Department of Children and Fa of Families, as well as the child protection team, that rises to the level of the necessity of expert testimony. Even assuming if the, the court were to allow similar testimony to be heard, and again, I refer the court to the earlier memoranda that we filed directing confidentiality of both DCF and CPT, but even if it were to be admissible, there's nothing that the jury needs an expert to explain what an allegation of child abuse is. That's pretty clear. Um, and finally, Your Honor, and I'm, I'm giving the court a, a nutshell in light of the court's schedule. Um, if the court somehow gets past all of that, we've asked for a Daubert hearing because there is absolutely nothing about the <laughs> machinations inherent in CPT that is subject to a Daubert analysis. And as this court knows, it has a gatekeeping function and the burden is upon the state. But I can tell the court with pretty good certainty there are no empirical studies that Ms. Griffin is going to bring to this court to try to justify under Daubert findings of the CPT team. So, with that, Your Honor, unless the court has any questions, that's our position. I got a ton of questions, but I don't think they're for you. State. Yes. Before you get started. Yes. Who is Kimberly Griffin? How is she an expert? What is she? Hold on. I know you just what you just said before Mr. Taylor spoke, but she's been designated as an expert. What is she an expert on? What's she going to testify about? Has she been dispo disposed? When was she known about the discovery deadline in this case pursuant to the stipulation signed by you for this trial period gave a discovery deadline of 31 days before trial? I calculate that using the rules of general practice and judicial administration, what is it, 2505? At June 21st of 2024, it's my understanding she was listed uh, on July 12th, well past. I, I'm, my mind is just swimming with questions. Okay. Judge, she was disclosed in the discovery that went out in 2021. Her initial reports it's voluminous that there it's in the discovery what was omitted unintentionally was her name from the witness list but the defense has had numerous reports of Kim Griffin she is a coordinator at CPT and she was involved in some of the previous allegations the investigation um, of some some of the previous allegations against Doug Benefield all right. So, so, so her reports went out. Yes. Related to some CPT or CPS investigation. Yes. But she wasn't listed. Correct. Her name was not listed. It was an inadvertent mistake. I actually thought her name was listed all this time. 
I went back to look and realized that there was someone else named Kim, first name Kimberly or Kim, and that must have been why I thought she was listed. So I immediately, and this was on June 3rd, or, or when I spoke to Ms. Griffin in preparation for trial, she indicated to me that she had some tight notes. So I immediately gave those to the defense, and that was on the 3rd of July. Those notes were not in my possession until the 3rd of July, but they basically um, pretty much reiterate what's already in the documents that were already given over to the defense. Still at this point, I thought her name was on the witness list. It wasn't until I realized my mistake on the 12th that she was actually listed as a witness, you know, on the, the witness list. So yes, her name was listed late, she has been a part of this discovery. Her reports have been in discovery. I know I love these issues because they really make a difference in terms of the outcome of the case. And obviously the judge is going to make the prosecutor's day a little difficult. We're going to have to wait to see what the ruling is on these many issues that have been presented by the defense. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.